Hello my friends, it's Papa D, POV, coming to you once again from the garage today. We got a little uh, nifty little cassette change we're going to do on the checkpoint today. So stick around, let's see how it goes. Now what we're going to try to do for you today here is, this is the uh, 2020 ALR5 checkpoint. Uh, my gravel bike. Now this came with 105 uh components pretty much throughout and my rear cassette is a 1134 all right now trek says that you can without any adjustments without adding a road link to the derailleur or anything like that that you could go up to a 36 like an 1136 cassette but today what we're going to do is we have a xt 1140 and we're going to put this thing on this bike and see how it works uh, and if everything works out all right we won't have to add a road link okay so hang with me let's see how it goes a couple more things before we get started uh, obviously the chain that's on the bike right now is not going to be big enough to take this new cassette so we got a new Shimano 11 speed chain so we can set it up to this cassette and once again like I said it's the XT and what we're hoping to do with this is just get a little a couple more climbing gears because on this XT cassette a 34 is actually the third gear down so I'm going to be getting a 36 and a 40 so I'm going to have two more climbing gears for this thing and what prompted this is I did a big ride a couple months ago in Charlottesville it's called the Pantani and it had a whole lot of climbing let's just say that I mean, some of the grades were up to 24 percent and it was just no way with that blowing a knee that I could pedal a lot of these I had to I had to do some walking but I had a friend and he'd already made this change on his bike and he said it was working really really well so I ordered the cassette and got it in and this is just the first chance I've had to go on and swap it out so we're going to get it swapped out, put it on the bike. We're going to ride it some, and then give you an update and let you know how it's going. First thing we're going to do is get this uh, 1134 cassette off of here. It's a little dirty, so pardon me for the, the dirt. Now the great thing about this change here is the driver. This is a, I got a Shimano 11 speed 105 like I said. So this XT cassette is going to go on here just fine so we don't have to have to worry about the driver. And this is an 1140. Alright, All right, there you go. Easy peasy. There's the uh, 1140 cassette on there. So now uh, we'll try to get it, we'll get it mounted on the bike and replace the chain. We're going to have to do some adjustments on the B-screw on that rear derailleur and then we'll see where we're at. Alright, All right, let's get it on the bike. Alright, I'm going to take this B screw right here and I'm going to go ahead and 
run it in just about all the way. It's only about halfway, a third of the way in right now. So we're going to run it in and give us some more clearance for that big sprocket. Put the new, put the tire on, put the wheel back on with the new cassette on it, put the chain on it, get the length of the chain correct, and then see how it works. All right, let's see what we got. I went ahead and ran the new chain. I got it on here. Didn't take a link out at the master link in. Didn't take anything out because I got it on the big cog in the back and the big cog in the front. And I still got some room. So I'm not gonna be running it like that, but uh, we'll set the chain up initially like that and see what we got. All right. All right, there we go. We got it on, got it adjusted. We do have the B screw all the way in to get it where it was running smooth. Makes a big jump on a gear right there. That's why it's a little slow. It's a big change on that gear. All right, that's a little in the front. It's a little rough. Little in the front, little in the back. Big in the front little in the back. We'll go up it this way. So it will run big and big. We're not going to do that. And put it back in a little. Run through it again. It's a big jump, like four or five teeth between that one gear right there. That's why it's a little hesitant to drop. It might take a little bit more adjustment, but I think it's good enough to ride. I'm looking at now, right here, you got clearance that's little and little. I mean, you could take a link out of the chain or two and get a little bit more space here, but then it's gonna be kind of tight on big and big, so I think I'm just gonna ride it, see what happens. All right, my friends, that's the video for today. Pretty straightforward setup. Of course, we're gonna to have to ride it, see if it gives us any problems. We'll get back. Maybe I'll post it in the comments below, let you know how it's doing. Once again, if you have any questions, just uh, post them in the comments below. We'll get back to them. Subscribe, hit that bell, so you'll be notified of any new videos coming forward. And uh, once again, we enjoyed it.